This is the December 17, 2007 edition of MassapequaNews.com. We're shooting on location in Woodbury on the set of Meet the Leaders. With me is the host and moderator, Mr. Pat Halpin. It's good to be here. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me into your studio. If there is just one viewer that doesn't know what is involved with Meet the Leaders, how would you describe what your job entails? This show is about getting good information about what's going on in government out to people. You know, there are a lot of gotcha shows that try to make public officials look bad. Uh, there are, you know, stories in the paper where they give both sides of an issue. You know, look, we explore all the issues, but this is really about telling the people and having their elected officials tell them what they're doing on their behalf, and then the people can make up their minds. So it's really about informing people right down to the local village mayor as to what's happening. Terrific. <clears throat> what you do, I believe, required a tremendous amount of background that prepped you for this. So tell me, Pat, briefly about your background as far as your family goes, the family you came from, the family you created. Well, you have to understand something. I come from a family of Democrats, of Republicans, but I happen to be a Democrat. I was Democratic County Executive in Suffolk, Democratic Assemblyman. Before that, I served in the county legislature as a Democrat. Now, how does a Democrat win in Republican Suffolk County? And the area I came from was along the South Shore in Babylon and all the way to Amityville. I was my assembly district. So we have a lot of things in common with the folks in Massapequa. One thing we know is that they came out from the city, they became Republicans. Yes. So what happened was when I was running, people said, I'll vote for him even though he's a Democrat because he comes from a nice family. <laughs> so you came from a nice Irish a Catholic family. A big Irish Catholic family, went to the local parochial school and, and uh, the local high school, West Babylon. And then I went away to college down at Old Dominion University, came back home got involved in politics and government. I actually worked in Washington for our congressman at the time, Tom Downey, and uh, said, uh, gee, I'd like to run for office. I think, I think I have something to offer. So your background and family, your education and experience prepared you well for the host of Meet the Leaders. If I had to ask you to answer in one word answers about some of the fascinating people that you interview on your show, would you be able to come up with one word answer? I'll do my best. Okay. In one word, tell me what you think about Nassau County Legislator Dave Mejias. Smart. Driven. That's two words. <laughs> I knew this would be difficult. Um, County Legislator Peter Schmidt. Outspoken. In one word. How about Governor Elliot Spitzer? Um, learning. How to be a governor. <laughs> Nassau County District Attorney Kathleen Rice. Very focused, I would say, a great advocate. That's more than one word, but... I knew it would be difficult, it's and hard. it's absolutely fine. How about um, Nassau County Executive Tom Swansea? Innovative. Senator Charles Fuschillo. Honest. Town Very honest. Town of and hard working, by the way. <laughs> Town of Oyster Bay Supervisor John Venditto. Civic minded. That's two words, but he is focused on neighborhoods. That's a, here's the word neighborhoods. Assemblyman Joseph Saladino. Talkative. <laughs> Anybody, in, in anybody, anybody who knows Joe Saladino knows. He's talkative. He likes to talk. Yes. How about um, town clerk Steve Labriola? Have you had the... I have had Steve on. Yes, Steve. Sincere. Very sincere. And in fact, his daughter and my daughter went to um, pre-K together at the Grace Day School in Massapequa. We actually have the um, director of admission at Grace Day on in the month of January. Fantastic. It's, so, a, it's a wonderful school and gave my daughter, who's now a senior in high school, a great start. Wonderful. Have you met the um, town of Oyster Bay receiver of taxes, James Stefanich? I haven't. How about um, Mass Beetle Park Mayor James Altadonna? I have met uh, Mayor Altadonna. One word. What's your opinion? Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, 
You know, I don't know him that well, but when we interviewed him, I found him to be interesting. What is your experience with Long Island Press? And do you know specifically the editor of news, Michael Martino? I don't know Michael Martino. Okay. But Long I do Island know the Long Island Press. Press. Terrific. And by the way, as a kid, I delivered the original Long Island Press. <laughs> I had a paper route which was given to me by my older brother who got it from my oldest brother. So it went from the, to the three of us. Very nice. And I was happy to see the Long Island Press come back into existence. Yes. Even as a weekly. Great. You know, you are definitely the man for this position. All of your background definitely prepared you well to, to explore the people, policies, and issues that impact, I mean, not just the local level, but, you know, on a grander scale, the county level. But most people don't see behind the scenes that you have a tremendous staff back there in your control room that views this as a team sport. Tell me about your team in one word. Oh, gosh. Uh, dedicated. Absolutely. Smart. Creative. Youthful. Wonderful. Dynamic. <laughs> Pick any one of those words. <laughs> Pat, you and I could sit here and probably talk for days about politics and people and issues, but we're out of time, and I appreciate you coming on MassapequaNews.com. Thanks. Now, by the way, one of my favorite restaurants is in Massapequa, Dick and Doris. I hope they advertise with you. I'm going to find out. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, Massapequa, you can find Pat Halpin on Cablevision's Meet the Leaders. It's um, Cablevision Local Programming. Um, he is the host and moderator, and you can tune into, I believe it's channel 18, and also with video on demand. Thank you, Pat, and I'll see you soon. You're welcome.